Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at ICT IDCOC theory, chapter 10 communications. Under that, what we'll be looking at today is email, internet fundamentals and information on the internet. Okay, with that let's get started. Alright, national laws. Okay, so in some countries, emails are monitored or read, thus limiting the topics on which you can speak. Alright, acceptable language. Language used in emails must lie within an acceptable code of practice. The following is a list of unacceptable content that are beyond the code of practice. Obscene images, abusive language, racist, explo uh, exploitative and violent messages, use of illegal material in messages. All right. So basically the four I mean five uh, okay, yeah, four things that I stated here, this is something you cannot send to someone on an email because in some countries, those emails or messages that you send are read by, let's say, government agents. All right. Okay. Copyright. Yes, we talked about this in, I think, chapter nine or chapter eight or chapter five, one of them. Yeah. Copyright laws apply to text and emails. Forwarding a block of text on uh, image without the copyright owner's permission, it would be legal. Alright, what this means is that, let's say you have an image that you made yourself and you uh, had, um, and you like went and got it patented or something like that. And if someone uses that photo on, let's say, their website without your permission, that will be illegal and you can actually sue them in court for that. Okay. Employer guidelines. If the rules in the contract of employment set out by the employer is not obeyed, you would be in breach of your contract and could be dismissed. Dismissed. All right. Security. Emails containing personal information should uh, should be encrypted to prevent. It should be encrypted. Sorry for the typo. To prevent hackers from understanding the information if they manage to hack into the email. Okay. Sure. Okay. Some of the rules that the netiquette contains is all right. For those of you who do not know what netiquette is. It is basically a set of rules for acceptable online behavior and it basically applies that the principles of courtesy and behavior that we actually expect in our daily life to be uh, to you uh, to our daily life to use of the internet and other social networking sites all right so some of these rules are don't be abusive do not insult people all right don't spend don't send spam don't just be sending the same person the same email hundred times just to get their notice, just to get uh, noticed by them. A lot of people actually do this to get attention of many YouTubers, and this is actually quite not good. Because even if you get the attention of, let's say, the YouTuber, he's not really going to like you, like you, because you, bro, because like you literally spammed his email. All right, you wouldn't like it if I did that to you, right? All right. Next is be precise. All right, be precise on what you're talking about. Okay. In the email, don't add irrelevant messages or irrelevant text or images. Or let's say you're talking to your boss about how um, how you how you have been working online. Don't add how your what do you say your children are disturbing you while you're working online. Just be precise on what you're talking about. Check spelling and grammatical errors. Yes, do that. You can also use Grammarly. Not sponsored though. Ensure attachments are not too large. Yes, sometimes if attachments are too large, they won't actually be sent. All right. Don't use capital letters to highlight comments. Don't plagiarize and don't use too many emoticons. Yes, very important. Keep it formal. All right. User ID and password protection. Email services require a user identity, user ID to authenticate users. Passwords should contain alphabets, numbers, and special characters such as hashtag. I mean, hash yeah or hashtag or stuff email groups easier to send out multiple yeah so this is under email groups just so you know easier to send out multiple mails by grouping them under one name like this just like your whatsapp group all right just think of it like that but in emails okay companies and organizations can uh, group people according to their target group for marketing purposes spammers can create email groups by buying addresses of people from a certain company and send in easier ways Companies use email groups to set up meetings, typing out individual addresses, and may leave out a few mail IDs. All right. Internet fundamentals. All right. So, intranet and internets will be explained in chapter four. Video will soon be coming. 
and till then make sure you like share subscribe all right the World Wide Web or WWW is a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed via the internet. Okay. Protocols are a set of rules that are followed between the sender and recipient of data which is being transferred being devices. Okay. HTTP hypertext transfer protocol and HTTPS hypertext transfer protocol secure. No variant is not part, it's just telling you that it's another variant. You must remember there are four forms, okay? So they are both basically a protocol and I mean HTTP is a protocol that is followed between the sending and receiving this devices when the data is being transferred using the internet and the other one is followed when data being transferred is encrypted. That is why the secure is actually there. When you go to a website and you see that it's HTTP, that means that the data there is not actually encrypted. It's not secure if I put it secure. Whereas if it's HTTPS means that the data that will be transferred will be encrypted and safe or secure. All right. Hyperlink basically means um, data that redirects the user to another web page or section of the same web page or file when clicked. Okay. That's like you clicking the YouTube logo to get you back to YouTube homepage. That's hyperlink. All right. File transfer protocol FTP used to upload website files to the web hosting space. To upload these files successfully, the user needs an FTP client, login details to the web hosting server, host and port used, username and password for the file transfer protocol. All right, let's look at social networking. I'm sorry for this. It's not 10.1 email. I forgot to change it. I apologize for that. Social networking. These sites focus on building online communities of users who share the same interests. Um, how many of you know Reddit IGCSC? actually share some of my videos there as well and a lot of people interact with me on that because the site focuses on the same idea all right it enables people to share photos on themselves their favorite mu music and videos what they like to do and what they like to eat etc yeah like i upload my videos there for people as well so if you're there go check it out as well example is facebook like facebook instagram Twitter, and there are many more where you can share photos of yourself and try and earn followers, all right? These are becoming the modern way of interacting socially, okay? They allow people to communicate across the world and share their interests with people with many views, with many people, sorry. Blog and wiki, and then we have cloud storage search engine, and that's all, okay. Okay, so a blog, you, you guys need to know a bit, bit point on them, like know the main stuff, but don't like focus too much on it that you end up not revising the other part. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start. Personal interest journals where the writer, po writer posts their observation on a topic. No training is needed to do this. Okay. Blogs range from minor projects, example, people gossiping about the topic to important subjects such as politics or advertising products. Comments are not immune from the law. Okay, bloggers can be prosecuted for offensive comments. That's actually true. Some of them have been like it usually comes in the news. All right, wiki, a software allowing uh, users to easily uh, create and edit web pages without using any web browser. Yeah, like web uh, Wikipedia. All right, uh, wiki will support hyperlinks and has a very simple syntax language rules for creating pages. Okay, wikis are described as web pages with the edit button. Okay, anyone can use wikis and content can be treated with caution. Example is Wikipedia. Also remember, in a blog, the content cannot be changed by any random person. Only, it can only be changed, deleted, or edited by the person who wrote it. Whereas in wiki, the person, let's say anyone can edit or delete the data on it or content. Okay, cloud storage, the storage of data remotely on the internet. Data is accept accessible by the user with the requirement of appropriate authentication technique. Example, user ID and password. Also remember that you need Wi-Fi, you know, proper uh, Wi-Fi connection to access your data on your slot, uh, st cloud storage. All right, search engine. It's used to find information on the internet without knowing the URL of the web page holding the information, just like Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge and whatnot. Okay, information on the internet. Information is most likely to go up to the data than in books, since websites can be quickly, uh, can be updated very quickly. 
much easier to get information from website search engines linky um, search engines link keywords together and find information that matches the criteria cause for popularity okay vast inform vast amount of information on the internet easier to locate than using indices in books information on the internet however may be relevant irrelevant sorry irrelevant or incorrect or relevant or correct not reliable uh, inaccurate or even biased it does not go through any checking process all right so if you are if you use the notes for revision remember it's irrelevant here and or incorrect over here sorry i forgot to type it up correctly typo you know sorry uh, information overload can make it difficult for the user to find relevant information Ensure use of reliable websites that uh, properly cite all their sources. Always look for primary sources of information and form own conclusion. Do not quote or use secondary, often biased opinions or gossips. Do your own research. Also check when the website was last updated so you know how recent or how old the information is. Also, always look for... Okay, you you, you might you always remember that if there's .gov at the end of a site, which means it's the government site, it's most likely very secure. And um, also over here, I forgot to mention the URL is Uniform Resource Locator. And I think that will be all for today. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. It takes a lot of effort to make this slide. I hope you enjoyed. Till then, see you in the next video. Make sure to comment, like, share. So then, ta-da!